I am so scared. They are intimidating me, but see you in court. Good evening and welcome. Paula Llewellyn said, those of us in the social space, giving social and legal commentary about the Vibes Cartel ruling, don't know what we are talking Even the very lawyers who defended the client, who defended the accused. Paula is of the view that none of us, none of we, out here, we are talk, don't understand the ruling. Paula even said, blame it upon the judge. Him ask me my opinion, and me give me opinion at him do what he want to. Blame it upon the judge. Paula said, Paula said, we don't. We don't know and understand what we are talking about. Paula said, you have to be DPP to understand the law. Paula said, you have to be DPP to understand when a judge writes an opinion. Paula also say you have to be DPP to understand when a judge sit down and explain the summary of their judgment. 
Paula say you have to be a DPP for even watch what happened in the private council and understand what happened in there. You cannot understand it if you're not DPP. You have to be DPP. Like and share the live. You have to be DPP to understand the law. And you have to be DPP to speak correctly on the law because Paula is always right. Paula gets it right. Tonight we just uh, zoom in on Paula because she says some things pan nationwide. And she spoke to the observer and she said some things. But Paula is only the bright one in the box. Have your nolly prosecai run out, Paula. Because up to last year, we see a drop of your nolly prosecai. Have your nolly prosecai run out. I would suggest you search your bag to see if you find an extra notice. Because this would be the best when the appeal hearing comes up, Paula. Submit and not a prosecute. Or even before that, Paula. Ask Dan Watts, it or rather his name, who do poll for the politicians. Ask them to do a public poll and see if there's public interest to go forward and spend more of our tax money on this trial that you all didn't do it correctly then because your concern was about it would be too expensive. Good evening. Thank you all for joining us. Good evening to those on the X, to those on Twitch, on YouTube, and on Facebook. Good evening and welcome. Thank you for joining us. Like and share the live. Please, good evening to my family members. Good evening to my community of party. Good evening. To my members, my subscribers, my followers, my supporters, my moderators. Good evening to you all and welcome to the People's Point of View. It's Monday, the 18th of March. Thank God, one fool gone. Are we getting another? Or, or how much do we have to go? How long? Do we have to wait for Horace Chang and Paula to go? Gugu Gaga gone today. Gugu Gaga gone. How long do we have to wait for Paula and Horace Chang and Andrew Holness to go? Tomorrow is Mark Golden's um, budget speech. And then I think on Thursday, is the budget speech of the criminal prime minister. We will aim to bring those to you. I know it will be as boring and waffling, waffling as Nigel Clark's budget presentation. But it is important that we listen to the opposition leader's presentation for the budget year and also Listen to the crocus bag that will be shaped by the Prime Minister on the 21st when he delivers the scandal, the promises, and the lies. Mark Golden, are you going to? You want me to do it, Mark Golden? Are you want it? Come and say, Andrew Olness. And him gangarines, a walk and pull up 18 ear or so on worth a people's national party. What's you call it? Scandals and blunders or whatever. What? Yeah, we can we feed with Mac Golden or you go take the lead. Can we can go back to the 1960s or even to 1958 and go. You got JLP scandal up to today. The open ones in our face, Mark Golden, like the Integrity Commission, 
the 1.7 trillion missing from the prime minister office, the illicit six mark golden, the money's missing across the municipality, the um, Grace McLean 100 and add million. What you, what you want, Mark Golden? We just have talk about for Andrew Olness, Bangarang, you know, and we can go all the way march up to 1958. What are you waiting for to go on the defensive, Mark Golden? And to come out. See how them I use FINSA against you. You know how nothing for use, Mark Golden. You know how nothing for use. And do I use FINSA? Am I use this? Am I use? Look how much scandal and that just on the whole. See, I got the M I M I M F. I would not hear Mark Golden a push back. Good evening. Good evening to those on the X, on Twitch, on Facebook, on YouTube. Good evening and welcome. Good evening to those on the live. Good evening to those in the chat. Natalia Freeman. Good evening. David Jervis and your membership. Good evening. Good evening to beat and teach. Wagwan. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening to Violet Watson. Good evening and welcome. Good evening, good evening to Patricia Matthews. Good evening and welcome. Good evening to Michelle Lewis Wilson. Good evening to Yvonne Johnson. Good evening, Patricia Matthews. Good evening, good evening. Uh, Amazing Grace, good evening. Sunshine, good evening, how are you? Good evening, Kate M, good evening. Good evening, good evening, and welcome, Sharon Peart. Good evening, good evening, Sharon Powell. Good evening, Colleen Humphreys. James, good evening, good evening, Vivian Hamilton. Good evening, Amazing Grace. Good evening, Opal Davy. Good evening, and welcome. Good evening, thank you for joining us, Norma Ferguson. Good evening, good evening. I may go read one article for now. I can be able to see already, you know. Rosemary Samuels. Good evening. Jamaican foodie. Good evening. Mama Nita. Good evening. Good evening and welcome. Good evening. Good evening. Thank you all for joining us. Good evening to Keith Salmon. Good evening to... Enrique Psalms, good evening, Georgia Dennis, good evening, all, and welcome. Thank you for joining Global Television. Before I get into our parlor this evening, I want to echo something that Dante Reynolds says. For those of you, if you've watched Planka Shop over the years, you would have seen Dante Reynolds, that young enthusiast of a farmer. Bros, good evening. But he posted something on his page, and I want to... Monica Hartman, good evening and welcome. I want to put it out there because it's something I wholly believe in, something that I preach, and something that Jamaica should take very serious. Especially if the World Health Organization gets its way by all of your government signing up to their new pandemic preparedness and respond new regulation to be signed this year and will be giving away your rights once your government sign into that one world order. Ubuntu, Ubuntu, good evening and welcome. And in the great control that is coming, in the great control, in the great global control, Dean Weston, good evening, in the great global control that is coming, Farming in your backyard, planting a tomato tree 
in a condens in, in, in a can when you're finished with it will become very very important using up the old tire them to become farm bed velma hall good evening and welcome will become very important going forward because they have realized that the joke and the fear of the joke can't control all of you food or money will be the ultimate control after we what we say we're going to jump off by a grid and go live in a mountain food will be the control so farming is very important so i want to before i move on reiterate what dante says I have something to say to y'all. If y'all have a local space in the backyard, plant something, guys. It can be a local tomato tree. Put it on a local napkin, wet it, and make it come, and put it on a local pot, and nourish it, and take care, right, guys? I mean, I tell you, the feeling you get from reaping your stuff, I just like, oh, my God, the feeling you get, guys, when you do that, guys, is I don't know, words can't even explain. But still, though, plant something, guys. You're my age. I mean, you're 15, 16, 18, whatever it might be. You can't be a lot grown up. Whatever, just plant something. You know, you're not too old for plant something in your yard. You're not too young for plant something in your yard. Just plant something and see what come and nourish it and take care of it. And then if you have problems, your boy Dante is going to um, find a solution for those problems that you have with your little plants in your yard. Just, you know, tell me what you, what you need help with. I can't just see if I can assist y'all with any local stuff like that. But still, though, plant something in your yards, people. Plant something plant something it's a very powerful and important message plant something plant something because it's going to become very important don't wait until you see the control reach then you run around and book shuffle to get it done start from now get into practice from now so when the great control comes you already know how to feed yourself start from now but dpp brighter than all away was speaking on cliff hughes today hashtag plant something was speaking on Cliff Hughes and DPP brighter than all of we have got two little minuscule clips to play for you of DPP brighter than all of we. And then after that, we'll go into the article. I believe we would be obliged to, given the strength of the case for the prosecution that was put up, and given the authority and the case law, I think that, you know, as I reflect going forward to my retirement next year, I have been too successful in seeking to, and, and I'm happy about it, to sensitize the public, to sensitize the media, to try to explain a lot of complex issues. Very often, and I say this, when you have knowledge of the state of the law in any particular area, for example, retrial, the, the prosecutors are obliged to go on a particular path. Okay, that's one clip. The next one. It has to be aware that the issue of retrial, as far as lawyers, well, let me say prosecutors and the judiciary are concerned, has nothing to do with emotion. It has nothing to do with who the accused is. It has to do with the seriousness of the offense, the public interest, um, how perhaps expensive the, um, it may be to mount the retrial. It doesn't even have to do with what the likely verdict may be, but it has to do with a number of factors which have been outlined in what we would call the local statistics from the Privy Council in a case called Dennis Reed. Velma Hall, I've been saying this from about Friday, I think. Mark Golden needs to tell us if he has confidence in the director of public prosecution. 
hashtag Paula resign now. All of you should hashtag that in the chat, please. Kate M, good evening. Hashtag Paula resign now. Hashtag Paula resign now. I've been asking Mark Golden from about Friday morning to tell the Jamaican public if he has confidence in the director of public prosecution. A only power we can wait for next year, compiler. Because two them salt you and dry you in the office. Two them salt you and dry you in the office. We, we really have to go wait until we can get rid of you when your time comes. But Paula Lowell is of the view that even the lawyers who are explaining to us in public what the trial means, the consequences of the trial, these people don't understand what they are talking about. So let me share my screen so we can go into... Miss Llewellyn's article. Mm. Let's go into Miss Llewellyn's article because Paula is blaming the judge, rightly so. I'll while going through the article, but we tap uh, irritate with peace because you know these people, their best job is to irritate with peace let me see if i can widen my screen so we all get a better view oh, let me see how that looks rolled up a bit and see how it i hate these ton of adverts that you have to bottle through when reading these things. Oh, your thing is right. Let me see how it look over here. Right. I hope that Michelle Guthrie over on Facebook. Good evening and welcome. Thank you for joining us. To my viewer on the Twitch, thank you for being here. Right, hopefully you all can see Sharon Peart. Good evening. Uh, did I see Brenda? Brenda, yes. Good evening and welcome. Uh, Miranda Roddick, good evening and welcome. Good evening, good evening. Thank you all for joining us. I hope you can see my reading on the screen. So stop that we're going to go through it now and see what where well, i hate these advert things llewellyn i think it is a veiled it's a veiled attempt to intimidate the office of the dpp and myself from doing our professional duty said paula llewellyn Oh, Jesus. Jamaica Chief Prosecutor Paula Llewellyn, King's Counsel, has moved to clarify her actions before, before the decision made, sorry, has moved to clarify her actions before the decision made by the Supreme Court, Lennox Campbell which was a child judge in the cartel case during the 2014 murder trial of entertainer vibes cartel and his co-accused to continue the matter as he became aware of an attempt to bribe the jury to bribe 12 jury members to acquit the men while nothing while nothing that matter is still on the 
while noting that ma that matter is still under judicial consideration, the DPP, Paula Llewellyn, says she felt compelled to speak on that narrow issue in light of what she labeled a campaign of misinformation being spread by certain counsel. She's talking about the lawyers. I don't know which counsel she's talking about. Whether it be Bert Samuel, Isaac, or whoever. But which she believes amount to an attempt to bring her office into this repute. We know you were Paula said. Paula said the explanation of the lawyers are giving the out there in public is an attempt to bring her office into this repute. Go on to Paula, Jessup, go up more. Hmm? That Paula said. I think it's a veiled attempt to intimidate the office of the DPP and myself from doing our professional duty in respect of properly preparing ourselves to make submission to the Court of Appeal in this matter as we are bound to do consequent, consequent um, on the ruling of the Privy Council in the matter the DPP told the observer on Sunday. Of course, DPP, you are expected to make a submission to the appeal court when the hearing is ready. But the submission that us out here in the public is asking you to make is a nulliprosicite notice. And notice, Paula Llewellyn, you've just used it last year in our case. And notice that you intend not to prosecute. You have wasted enough of the country's time and money. You advise the judge that you are comfortable in going ahead with a pampered juror in order just to get a conviction because it will be too expensive to start all over again. This was in 2014. And you want to mount a trial 10 years on in inflation and austerity couldn't make it up the judicial Com committee of the privy council last thursday quashed the conviction quashed the murder conviction of adija palmer vibes cartel and his score cues sean storm campbell here jones and andre st john for the 2011 murder of uh, Clive Lizard Williams and remit the question of whether there should be a retrial to the Jamaican Appeal Court, which is the correct procedure. The law lords in their ruling said the decision by the original trial judge, Lennox Shamble Campbell, to continue the murder trial after after the attempted bribe of the jury had been brought to his attention, gave rise to miscarriage of justice. Lord Light Jones, in delivering the ruling, I let me advise the gleaner, the observer, legal writer how to write this article when you had the legal writing lord lord jones in his handing down not delivering in his handing down of the ruling that's the correct way to word it said the board was of the view 
that the tainted juror should not have been should not have been kept on the jury. There was there was a need to isolate the other members of the juror from the source of contamination. In the board's view, allowing juror X to continue to serve on the jury was fatal. When the right is, it should be was. Was fatal to the safety of the conviction which followed. This is an infringement of the defendant. fundamental right to a fair hearing by an independent and impartial court in accordance to section 16 of chapter 3 of the Jamaican constitution he said commenting further on the issue Lord Light Jones said while the board is mindful of the very serious consequences of which may flow from having to discharge a jury shortly before the end of a long complex criminal trial. It is also very, it is also very conscious of the danger of deliberate attempt to derail criminal trial in particular in their closing stages by engineering situation in which it becomes necessary to discharge the jury the jury and i hear cartel and, and not cartel and others sir p and some others out there that are saying cartel tampered with the jury there's no such evidence and it is not one that the court um, lean to. So, I know every makeup story work. Whoever want to bribe, um, whoever did the bribery, did. But there wasn't anything pointing to the um, accused directly is involved in the bribery continue on <clears throat> on sunday which was yesterday llewellyn said contrary to the picture being painted that she fully that she had full sway in the matter the opinion she rendered to the judge was at his invitation a situation which she said is not a novel as judges from time to time in the course of matters request the opinion of the head of the office of director of public prosecution even though she might be even though she might not be the one handling that particular case. As we understand, on that day, the final day of the trial, Paula was summoned by the judge to the court as the head prosecutor to ask her opinion and the juror X was questioned at the time, Paula was happy for the judge to go ahead with the tainted juror. And she's saying she shouldn't, basically she's saying she shouldn't be back for our opinion. It's just an opinion. Why so? But it even went further though, Paula. You were the one who took the case to court with tainted evidence even before the jury pool, Paula Llewellyn. Even before the jury pool. Because you're arguing on this issue because 
the Court of Appeal narrowly dealt with the issue of the jurors only and sent back the rest to no. With, I'm sure, if we go for a retrial, if we pass the bar and go to a retrial, I'm sure the tainted evidence is going to end up right back in front of the Privy Council. But as the head of our prosecutorial service, Paula, you want to tell us that that was a competent opinion from the director of public prosecution. That was a competent opinion, an opinion that would secure justice and just rest there. But isn't that the same very issue, Miss Llewellyn, why we are right back here now? Because the Privy Council is saying you did not do it right. I know we are sister, Miss Llewellyn. The Privy Council quashed the conviction because the process to get to the conviction, Miss Llewellyn, was tainted. You are a part of that. Maybe, maybe we just a bit dunser than you. So we will struggle a bit harder to understand where you are set to it. But we understood clearly what the Judicial Committee of the Privy Council, Miss Llewellyn, said in their ruling. We understood. The problem is, Miss Llewellyn, how do we get it across to you? Is the problem. <coughs> how do we get it across to Miss Llewellyn? Also, that just like how she has said, she gave an opinion to the court, and we must respect that. Respectfully, understandable opinion, then, Miss Llewellyn. Of the Privy Council's judgment. And now we are come tell we say we are welcome make up misinformation and we are this to your office and bring your office in. Who how is it bring your office into this repute, Paula? How the lawyer them will explain what the Privy Council says is bringing your office into this repute when 10 years ago. You incompetently stood in court, Miss Llewellyn, and you told a child judge that I, the director of public prosecution, is very happy to proceed with a tainted jury pool. Something that I, as an experienced prosecutor, Miss Llewellyn, would know that that would raise an appeal alarm. And we are right back here. Brighter than the whole are we, Miss Llewellyn. Let's read on. I have been made to understand that they have been saying that somehow, that I somehow breached the Constitution by indicating that we didn't have a problem with the matter going ahead after it was brought to the attention after it was brought to the judge attention that there was this tainted juror okay you don't breach the constitution professional misconduct then Paula. wasn't this professional misconduct when you decide, hold away with our last school parlor. No, so once a jury pool is tainted, it's an automatic collapse of the jury pool or of the trial. If it is early in the trial, you can remove the juror and reappoint other to um, fill the space. It's something where England do, because you have a backup of backroom jurors sit down waiting. Should anybody drop out of the case, then um, fill it with one more. You wonder why the Jamaican system 
didn't have that when the first juror dropped out the one that um, her son was at the Horizon Remand facility with the accused. So that was incompetent parlor and, mis and professional misconduct. When you said there was no problem, Paula, you violated every part of your training. When you, the director of public prosecution, evade Paula Lowellin, natural justice, by saying that, yes, a tainted jury can give us a fair conviction. And I go on like a wee one dunce. There are 50 lawyers who operate on behalf of the DPP. But under the Constitution, DPP, listen carefully, there are 50 odd lawyers who operate on behalf of the DPP. But under the Constitution, the DPP is available, is able rather, to step into any case at any time in the interest of justice and neither the prosecutor who was there before, the judge, nor the defense counsel can prevent that. It is constitutional power, Paula Llewellyn pointed out. So you see the power of the DPP. The DPP can step into a case at any time and nobody, that's like an FBI power, and nobody can object to it. The DPP can walk into court and pull a case and say, we do not wish to prosecute. How come dealt then, Paula, with the understanding of your constitutional power? How then do you violate the constitutional right of the defendant by telling the judge there isn't a problem? You don't have a problem in the violation of the defendant's constitutional right continuing forward with the case, Miss Llewellyn. But I will walk and blame you, you see. Paula never done nothing wrong yet. Paula and Andrew don't do nothing wrong, you know. When you don't know what they say, Paula and Andrew don't do nothing wrong. Continuing on. An opinion was canvassed from everybody, defense and prosecuting counsel. But the judge who is the supreme who is supreme in the law, was the one who made the decision, weighing all the different factors, because he too would have been aware that previously a juror had been discharged because she was put in a situation where it was quite clear she would not be able to continue said the DPP. She said up till the day in question when the judge requested that she appear in chamber along with the defense and her team of prosecutors. Senior Deputy Director of Prosecution, Jeremy Taylor, and the Crown Counsel, Leithan Morris, Morris rather, he, she, would, she would speak to the prosecutors every day and assist administratively or otherwise to prepare them for the challenge they would face from day to day. Every now and again, I would pop into court for a few minutes to build up morals because the case was very stressful. Yes, because another tell all her lie and wickedness. Not 
only for the prosecutor, but the police and the entire office, because Uno was swimming around the swelter of tampered evidence, Paula, that's why. For reasons I could not go into. Yeah, we know Sir now we can go into the debacle of the tampered evidence that led you to uphold a tampered juror that collapsed the case 10 years later. Miscarriage of justice, breach of um, fair hearing. On the day Justice Lennox Shamble summons her, she said after hearing from the judge and the foreman who was called and questioned, the two team of attorney, attorneys were asked to say what their opinion were. The attorneys for the defense were saying that they didn't think the matter should go on. I indicated we wouldn't have a difficulty with the matter proceeding. We were saying 60 odd days have passed and it was a very serious matter and the judge could always issue further and detailed instruction to the jury to the jury in addition to the general instruction that are the proviso where you hear them they are arguing about at the private court that talk about at the private council this really he really wants an opinion from us and I indicated that we would not have a problem with him proceeding and that any risk of a decision coming down that would be adverse to us, we, would, we were the ones who would handle the risk, Llewellyn says. Said rather. According to the DPP, the issue at hand was of sufficient import for the judge to request the conference of attorneys. There was another issue with, with same juror who affect, offered the bribery, the bribe, who somehow found himself at the chamber of one of the attorney in the case and the attorney came and reported it to the court and then had this and then had this um attempt bribe so honestly said lennox lennox um never alert from early yes it may be an innocent thing, but given how it turned out now, that juror may have been sent on a fishing expedition to that attorney's office. And had the judge, what UK judges would have done, remove that juror from early on and replace that juror would have backed up to 12 from the early part. So when he got into the debacle on the last day, then he would have still have 12 jurors. There were procedures and um, options available to all of you. You just didn't use the correct one. What is the likelihood of having three issues to do with a jury? in one case of this nature. I have never seen it happen. And I expect the judge with all his experience have never seen it either. Which is 
why he had, which is why he had to have an inquiry in absence of caution. I think he thought it would be best thing, she said. He could either said to the attorney from my chamber, consult with the director and tell me what her opinion is. But in light of the particular nature of this matter, he thought it he thought it better to send for me and I could hear exactly what the foreman had to say, the DPP said further. Llewellyn added, it is unfortunate that counsel who sought to spread misinformation in gone back from Isaac and Bert Samuels again, dear Jesus. Cause them two they are them two they are our problem, you know, cause don't wanna know fear and Isaac part and don't forget say in the um in the challenge to her reappointment, a Bert Samuels and Valerinita was leading that charge against her. So the council, council, what you hear she attack both is Isat and Bert Samuels she attack or either one of them. Llewellyn added, it is unfortunate that council has sought to spread misinformation and seek to be mistreated. Hey, Llewellyn, Llewellyn at two word and for misunderstanding on this area. And I can only hope it is not in the effort to intimidate me or my office. Ooh, I'm in fear, look at me, I'm trembling. Can you not see it? Oh, you wicked woman. Let's carry on. They must be so careful that in being so irresponsible and spreading this sort of misinformation, that it does not act as an adverse factor which undermines, why this thing I do this, which undermines our security at the office of the DPP. We are career prosecutors. And we have no vested interest in any case, says Llewellyn. Why don't want to lie on wicked? In April 2014, Cartel, Cartel was sentenced to life imprisonment with the eligibility of parole after serving 35 years of his sentence. His co accused were also handed life sentence, with Sean Storm and Jones being eligible for parole after 25 years, and St. John being eligible for parole after serving 15 years. In February of 2020, in April of 2020, rather, following an appeal, the men parole time were reduced by two and a half years each. In September, September the same year, the men were granted conditional relief to challenge their murder conviction before the Privy Council. That's the end to this article. And as we are aware, the conviction was quashed. The issue, though, now going forward, can they mount a successful can they mount Shauna Williams? Good evening and welcome. Rena, good evening. Good evening and welcome. Can they mount a successful challenge, JP? Good evening. Given that the given that the um the two strongest piece of evidence they had in that trial was one, the testimony of Chow, also the 
telecommunications evidence. Now, the appeal court looking at whether there is to be a real child here in the submission from both defense and prosecutor will have to weigh up evidence, public interest, the expense to the, of the child, as well as can we find a jury pool that can that will give a, a decision based on the evidence on not based on their feeling or the public information that is out there. That is the way you know, that the Supreme Court will have to do. They will also have to take in consideration the ruling coming out of the Judicial Committee of the Privy Council. Bangara, no, Chanel. Chanel Williams have just stupid chatters and with the 50 US dollars. Thank you very much, Chanel. Thank you. Thank you, Chanel, for your support. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you very much. So in way not that the judge also have to take in consideration the judgment coming from the Privy Council. And given that the first child breached their right to fair, to fair hearing, will the tainted evidence pass the constitutional bar in order to have a re to uh, um to have a new trial and if that does will cho be prepared to go back into what will be a long complicated trial jackie brown uh, sorry jackie grant good evening and welcome Libesis, good evening and welcome. It will also be Primrose Radin, my cousin, good evening and welcome. It will also be a very heavily contested trial, more robustly contested than the first trial in light of all of what is coming out now. And if that tainted evidence is to form part of this trial but if this tainted evidence cannot form part of this trial can this trial go ahead i i, I don't think so and if if it cannot why waste so much money that money that you all looked at 10 years ago to say that it's going to be too expensive we're at the end of the trial We've realized the breaches. Lilit Foster, good evening and welcome. But it would be too expensive for us in 2014 to collapse the entire trial and start afresh. But we have wasted so much over the last 10 years in fighting this case at the appeal stages and now we want to go back for a retrial 10 years later in austerity and inflation submit a notice of nolly prosecai paula Llewellyn. you have done it before and the disgraceful debacle within our justice system. Moving on to Uno, crooked, dunce, thieving, corrupt, illicit politicians. There isn't a loophole in the law. It is to be said, yes, that the Jamaican legislature can follow pursuit as Britain 
and amend the constitution or a piece of um, legislation that gives power to the court. All you have to do, put a section in there that allows a trial with a Tampa jury pool to continue as a bench trial. Very simple. Given that we do not have that piece of legislation at the moment, it did not stop the judge from use what was available to him. Tash, good evening and welcome. It did not prevent the judge from using what was available to him was the process of natural justice. Why? You cannot continue with 10 jurors. You cannot continue with the tainted jury. Therefore, you kill the entire trial in the interest of natural justice on both sides, not just to Cartel, but also to Lizard um, family. Annie Jones, good evening and welcome. You kill that child and you start a fresh. That was what was open to the judge. When it is a loophole, you're saying because the juror was tampered with, that's a loophole to tamper with the juror to have that done. No. The juror can be tampered with at any stage in any system, no matter how perfect it is. But there are safeguards that was there for you, Paula Llewellyn, to advise on for Lennox Campbell Shamble to put in place to protect the process of natural justice. Whatever you all was feared of, scared of, or whatever, you botch the evidence. It takes you to a long, complicated trial. And at the end of the trial, Cousin Wayne, you said, um, Message me by my number and tell me who you are, cause because I don't live with sis. I um I feel me, I feel me auntie more assist this. Or if not, see me number pan this a message me and tell me. Question win. Like how England overturned the Vice Cartel case. Can he get bail? <coughs> that is down to the um the Jamaican system, particularly Jackie, the appeals court, it's down to the appeal court if they want to grant him bail. If they're going for a retrial, they can choose to keep him on remand while, um, while awaiting trial, or they can grant him bail pending trial. So that is up to the appeals court and depend on what side the judge comes out of bed on i'm sure i'm sure his lawyers will be quoting right to liberty um given the ruling and everything but let's see how it goes and how and how fast the appeal court deal with this matter given the great concern and how much of a mess it has become to our justice system yes they can amend the law to make sure if we ever get into this situation again angela 48349 good evening how are you that if we ever get into this situation again it can continue as a bench trial rather than collapsing the whole thing and start all over again. 
But the way they're painting it, that it's a loophole because the jury was tainted and we don't have um, bench trial legislation, they got away on that. No, the retrial that they're going for now should have gone for from 2014. Should have gone for 10 years ago. And right now, 10 years, we are back there. And we're still asking Mark Golden, do you have confidence, Mr. Golden, in the director of public prosecution? We're not asking you for your opinion on the case, Mark Golden, because this is a case, case that is still before the court. But do you have confidence in the director of public prosecution? Should Jamaicans not go out on a demonstration, or at least the Gaza community? Jerome Berry, good evening and welcome. To demonstrate for Paula and Jeremy Taylor removal. Because at the two of them did that Privy Council, um, what do you know? A Paula and Jeremy. We've been wasting on the money from 2011. Hmm? A Paula and Jeremy, we are wasting on the money. Sharon, good evening and welcome. A Paula and Jeremy Taylor, we are wasting on the money from 2011. Come a privy council where they and a parlor and Jeremy Taylor will waste how much money and time and turn around embarrass the Jamaica state and the Jamaican justice system. Um <laughs> the, 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 the parlor shrek picture. I have to go beg somebody to send it back to me because I cleaned my phone library the other day and it gone in my whole library. But I'm sure somebody out there have DPP Shrek. Pauline Robson, good evening. Good evening and welcome. Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm sure somebody will have it to me by tomorrow. Um... Pauline, but 10 years on, we are going to waste, we are going to waste the money. We are going to waste more money than we try to avoid spending, um, than we try to avoid spending last Um, 14, um, 10 years ago. Does it really make sense? Does it really make sense? We look at, we look at the spending 10 years ago and said, it's going to be too expensive. Head teacher, Wagwan. Hmm? It's going to be too expensive. 10 years ago, they said that. To collapse this trial and start the trial afresh. 10 years of appeal, spending and debacle, an embarrassment to our justice system. With a DPP trying to blame we, say how we done Sadanar. And then 10 years later, in austerity and inflation, we're mounting on what is going to be a heavily contested trial and Paula Llewellyn is planning to stay there for another year until her retirement Paula Llewellyn does not have professional decorum because if Paula Llewellyn had any dignity in her profession she would have come out and a Apologize to Jamaica for her part in getting this so horribly wrong. 
But rather, Miss Llewellyn, one, went on the offensive, defensive, O'Neill Gale. Good evening and welcome. Miss Llewellyn went on the offensive, defensive, blaming the lawyers for misinformation, telling us how much her office and her and her staff are in fear and has come into disrepute by the information, the councils. You call the council parliament, me say Isaac and Bert, because and you and them in a cough of so I a them in attack. The information where I sat and Bert Samuels are put out there is misinformation. It's misleading. It costs you fear and alarm. And ooh, look at me. I'm trembling. Hmm? I'm trembling. That is what the DPP wants you to believe that she's been intimidated by us and the council giving our social and legal commentary. Some of us have followed the Vibes Cartel debacle for the last 14 years to americantv.com. Good evening. The Privy Council had the choice and could have reversed the judgment, but quash it and um the american tv the supreme court struck a balance the defense team of the accused is saying that the conviction isn't safe because it's tainted that was their argument amongst other things the 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 Jamaica state was also arguing that if you, if you are going to quash the conviction, we want the opportunity to go for a retrial. Rohan Williams, good evening and welcome. So the Supreme Court, the, the, the Privy Council is struck in a balance here to say, okay, if you think there is enough evidence if you think he is guilty of the crime and you have the evidence you must get a fair conviction you cannot taint your way to get a conviction so in that case jamaican tv the 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 the, the, the privy council had to struck a balance it could be this is my opinion it could be that based on the overall information in the case, the Privy Council think there is a quest, uh, um, a case to answer. However, you cannot taint your way to get the conviction you want, that you want. The Privy Council is saying, if you want to convict him, if you think the, the evidence you have prove guilt, make it make sense, Stevie. Good evening. Then you must do it right. It is for the Jamaican um, system, though, to decide if they want to continue to disgrace themselves and to continue to spend state money to no avail, really. So um, the Privy Council was asked to struck a balance, which they did. A lot of people are saying, this is not a victory for cartel. It's not the victory they wanted, but it is a massive victory. Not just for cartel, but victory for our rights. It is saying to us, you cannot taint a juror. You cannot allow a tainted juror to make decision. That was a powerful, a powerful move. A lot of people will not understand it that way, but that was a protection, not just for the people of Jamaica.
not just for the people of Jamaica, but for the people of the Commonwealth. And remitting the question also forces your Jamaica to do it right in public. It's a teaching exercise. This is an opinion again. This is a teaching exercise from the Privy Council. You must do it right. If you want to convict him, you must do it right. Anne-Marie McFarlane, good evening and welcome. So, it is for Jamaica to correct their blunder. The disgraceful judge, Lennox Campbell. I am hoping the next appeal court judge examine the evidence, the tampered evidence. If the Jamaican system put it forward and get it show again, we are going to be right back in the Privy Council as soon as that trial ends. But let's see how this thing plays out and let's see how quick a hearing is announced. But I want to remind you of Dante's message before I go, because this is a very powerful message, one that is necessary, necessary for the foregoing. But listen, I have something to say to y'all. If y'all have a local space in the backyard, plant something, guys. It can be a local tomato tree. Put it on a local napkin, wet it, and make it come, and put it on a local pot, and nourish it, and take care, right, guys? I mean, I tell you, the feeling you get from reaping your stuff, I just like, oh my God, the feeling you get, guys, when you do that, guys, is, I don't know, words can't even explain. But still, though, plant something, guys. You're my age, I mean, you're 15, 16, 18, whatever it might be. You can't be a lot grown up, whatever. Just plant something. You know, you're not too old for plant something in your yard. You're not too young for plant something in your yard. Just plant something and see what come and nourish it and take care of it. And then if you have problems, your boy Dante is going to um, find a solution for those problems that you have with your little plants in your yard. Just, you know, tell me what you, what you need help with. I can just see if I can assist y'all with any local stuff like that. But still, though, plant something in your yard, people. Plant something eat what you grow grow what you eat let your medicine be your food and your food be your medicine for those of you who've got the soil at home why don't you use the carrot juice and the, the tin them were left and the milk can and the plant one tomato tree in the plant, one pepper tree. The old tire where we do cut in at two and feed hog, ton hog chaff. Fully a dirt. You know the amount you can plant in a that. The old car rim. Fully a dirt. Put round the whole side of the backyard. You know the amount you can plant. The old keg them, the old paint pan. The old mash up half a barrel and old wash pan we are leak. Full it a dot and start planting. That day is coming. For those of you who are my generation and older, you would have remembered the American sanction and the food embargo. That was in place on us by the Jamaica Labour Party and the CIA and the American government in order to stifle the People's National Party and the Michael Manley government. You remember how Aki and the other fruits and all sort was beneficial then? Can you imagine? Jamaica, America, think Jamaica is getting too much out of hand and place a 
food embargo on Jamaica. The truth is to be argued that it might not be that difficult as it is. But the alternative will be plastic rice, plastic lettuce, chemical egg, lab-grown fish. I know the Chinese want them to grow things, give it to eat. The Americans, they might do the same thing too. Anything on the city don't have seed. Are the American them and them experience grow it? Them are grow meat, steak in a lab, and chicken breast in a lab. Eating grass and leaves might be the way forward. But plant something. This was the people's point of view. Thank you for being here with us this evening on Global Television. We look forward to see you right back here tomorrow on Global TV. If it is your first time here, please like and share and subscribe when you're on, but particularly subscribe and press your notification bell so you know when we put our notification out there and make sure you share to your whatsapp group and facebook pages also follow me on facebook because where when it comes to news article that's where i will do reposts of news article throughout the day thank you all very much and we look forward to have you right back here tomorrow on Global TV. Good night from London.